We're a, we're a very uh, budgeted and uh, strategically thought out, thought out business. Every year we sit down and we look forward to the year ahead and we ultimately devise as to what our, current, our, our main achievements are going to be. In the course of this year, we've been aiming for a 40% increase right across the board in terms of staff, the profitability and the turnover of the business. So ultimately, with nine months into the year, we are on target for heading those. Um, the recruitment market in Scotland is very busy. Um, it's the busiest that I've seen it in the last 15 years. The market is up 7% from 2017, um, with 21% of all recruitment specifically being within technology, digital and change, obviously our core markets. Um, unemployment's at a record low, and I am confident that alongside the, 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 the booming demand, our team is well placed to service that demand. Um, our growth in headcount, our growth in revenues support that. And um, it's also encouraging to see many financial services clients um, and employers choose Scotland as their strategic location for technology this year. Um, IT recruitment within financial services is up 23%. On last year, and we've seen an increase in uh, demand for both contractor and permanent services over the course of the last year. In the last three months specifically, that demand has continued to grow. We've started to see some early signs of possibly a demise in the demand for permanence, um, but it's too early yet to really indicate as to whether that would be a structural change to the market moving forward into the next three months. I do think that the next three months has got a huge amount of uncertainty. Um, there could be great volatility. Um, uh, certainly, I think January could be strong. I'm uh, doubtful about February and March, personally, just with the predicament that we have around the timings of the decisions around Brexit. I undoubtedly think that uh, a post-Brexit uh, immigration uh, points-based system could definitely help skill shortages within the, the UK. When you think that it is currently easier to bring a, chore a choreographer into the country than a software developer, um, there's something fundamentally wrong with that. So changes with regard to immigration systems and processes will be welcomed. The biggest problem that I have with that is about when they could be implemented. These could still be many years out before we actually see this happening and hitting the ground. Um, we could be talking minimum of two, possibly up to five years. Um, but certainly that whole process and that change is very welcome to one that I personally will look forward to, as I believe will the wider market. I believe we've consolidated our position in the Scottish market as the IT recruitment partner of choice. We have a stable and experienced team which uh, put us in a very strong position to, to service the, the demand that are, that are in the market currently. We're able to not only offer strong expertise to our clients, but we tend not to lose productive people here at BIT. So that allows us a consistent um, approach to, to the way in which we deliver. Um, it, undoubtedly it is going to be Brexit, the, judging the economy, trying to work out what is going to happen. There is always the expectancy of a downturn coming soon, but it hasn't materialised as of yet. Um, but just being reactive and trying to think ahead with regard to how we can manage and be the custodians of the business through any future time, that's probably been the biggest challenge.